NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Lyme disease is not something you want to mm -hmm. mess with, and it's hard to diagnose sometimes. you got to take yeah. tests for it and stuff. Ticks have been really active this summer because of all that water that we've had coming out, so they've been, and sometimes even in the winter, they really don't die off completely. It's true. It's not mm -hmm. as yep. cold as it could be. Yep. Speaking of chilly temperatures, I wanted to show you the month of August because we've actually been quite a ways below average for where we should be this time of year, at least when we look at the daytime highs. Look at all those blue squares on here. That indicates a day where the high temperature was below average. We've only got four days this month so far that have had above average average days the 9th, the 10th, the 17th, and the 20th, and it was only by one or two degrees at most. So the overall departure for our high temperatures is about 3.4 degrees below average, and I think many of you have felt that, especially on the rainy days. It certainly hasn't felt like August, even on some of these mornings. So today did, though. We had the sunshine. Temperatures were just one or two degrees below average. It was a really nice late summer day, a very nice area of high pressure sitting pretty over the northeast, and that's given us light winds as well. There was barely any wind out there and we've got a warm front off to the west notice says band of clouds and showers near Toronto Detroit and Pittsburgh that's sort of a dividing line between some very hot and humid air to the west and the cooler air over the northeast another dome of high pressure is out in the Midwest and this is one that originates from the south, so the air mass is just much warmer and more humid in general. The good news for us is most of that stays well to our southwest as we stay stuck in this northwesterly flow. Now, some of the humidity does come in, especially late tomorrow, and that's because a warm front comes a little closer. So we start off Thursday with a lot of sunshine, but increasing clouds will be taking over throughout the day. The Northeast Kingdom, though, will be the last place to see the clouds, so places like Newport and St. Jay can expect a very nice day tomorrow. Well, out toward the west like Saranac Lake, Tupper Lake, and Messina, you'll see some showers moving in by late in the day, and then around sunset and thereafter, the showers will start to spread across really the entire region. So we'll have on and off periods of rain into Friday as well. The heaviest will fall in the morning, and then the afternoon is slightly drier, but I think there's going to be a lot of clouds hanging tough on Friday and some pockets of light rain or drizzle. I know it's not showing up on future casts, but this is one of those times where the moisture could actually get trapped very down low and produce that drizzle and light rain basically all day on Friday. So at any point during the day on Friday, there's a, there's a chance that some rain and even these clouds and showers could last into Saturday, but we're not talking about a lot of rain. That's why the flooding threat is not very high. About a quarter of an inch to a half an inch in most areas with some areas coming in with about three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain and this is spread out over a couple of days so really not a big deal but you'll notice the increase in humidity in the next couple of days especially late Friday and into parts of of uh, Saturday, excuse me, but then by late Sunday into Monday, that humidity goes back away and it won't be nearly as brutal as what they're seeing out in the Midwest. So tomorrow won't have a lot of humidity and below average temperatures, especially for New York. We'll have some showers in the afternoon moving in. Takes a little bit longer to do so in Vermont, so we'll make it up to about 76 in Burlington under increasing clouds. Same thing for Southern Vermont, sunshine in the morning, giving way to clouds in the afternoon. So we'll show you the five day forecast here. You can see we've got the impact weather for Friday, the start of the Champlain Valley Fair, looking a little bit wet there and maybe parts of Saturday before we dry things out again on Sunday, but no big heat in sight for the next 10 days. Alice?